Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? I've had a look at some different orders that we've got here and I'd quite like to do this one. We need to, uh, timing needs replacing, list provided. Uh, we get a money bonus on it. We've only got 20 seconds, so I better just grab that one very quickly. Take order, there we go. Right, so yes, welcome back to Mechanic, uh, is it Mechanic Simulator? Car Mechanic Simulator, Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Um, welcome back. We are hopefully today going to be able to get ourselves from level 5 up to level 6, which means that we should, I believe, when we get to level 6, we unlock both the car auctions and the junkyard. Um, the racetrack, I'm not quite sure what you use the racetrack for, whether it's just for a bit of fun or something like that. Um, the, the test track is definitely uh, something different. The car, sa the car salon. Ooh, an abandoned airport. Okay, I don't know what any of those are, and I kind of want to take a look. So, we'll do this job first, and then we'll take a look at what these other things are. So, this one here first, we have the car needs, the timing needs it replacing. We need a cam gear A, we need timing chain, we need a water pump, we need another cam gear, we need a, pen, a belt tensioner. So, I will put this one over onto the lifters over there and I will get that little list of items so that we're ready to go and then we can start actually doing some work on the car. Well, here is the cam gear. You've got all these different cam gears. This is the one that we want here, cam gear A and cam gear B. It is, uh, I think it's I4, isn't it? I'm sure it's I4B and then I4A. So we want that one, so $110 on that one and then this one's $130. Then we wanted a belt tensioner. I'm pretty sure we wanted a belt tensioner. I'm hoping we do because I've just bought one. Um, we also want a timing chain. Now, I thought there was timing belts, not timing chains, but it said timing chain on the list, so that's the one we're going to have to go for. Um, down here, don't we? So, a supercharger timing chain. There we go. Well, what do you know? There is such thing as timing chain. Right. Uh, ooh. Oh, I4. It's definitely I4, so that as that's the only one with I4, B, I4 in it, I4B. So we get that one there, timing chain. And then there was, I think it was a pump, actually. So we go to here, we go to the car status. We want the cam gear A, timing chain, water pump, cam gear B, and belt tension. Well, we got those. I just need a water pump. So we can go straight to the tablet, which means you can go into the shop. This is the shortcut into the into the shop so we also want a water pump which again is i4b so it's that one there take that one come out of the shop right we're ready to start work it's as simple as that let's get that one onto the lifter up we go right i don't think that we need to take the wheel off to do this i've, I've never actually done it without taking the wheel off before right that is the throttle so we don't want that what we want is stuff over here. So we're going to need the timing cover to come off. So let's remove that one first. Oh, no. So in order to do that, you've got to remove that. So we want that one down there. That one's got to come off first. Then we can remove the serpentine belt. That one's in good condition anyway. Uh, power steering pump. No, we don't. I don't think it's not the one we want. We want to take that crankshaft pulley off. That one comes away. Then the timing cover. That one's got four screws up here, or four bolts, I should say. It's bolts, isn't it? Not screws. Um, now we've got the serpentine belt. Where's the timing chain, then? Where does that go? Oh, there's the water pump, and there's the belt tensioner that's got to come out. That one off. Uh, serpentine belt A, and then water pump. That one's got to come out. Can remove that. Now, where's so where's this chain that we got to do? Timing chain. There's definitely a timing chain that we had to get. If you look here and you go car status... Timing chain I4B. So let me just highlight that one a minute and it will tell you. Ooh. Okay. That's over here underneath the timing cover. I had no idea. All right. Well, it's no real surprise that I had no idea because, quite frankly, I don't know anything about cars whatsoever. So, um, yes, I don't think anybody's particularly surprised that I didn't know about the timing chain. So, in order to get that one off, we've got to take off this cam gear here. Oh, this is the bits that this is the other bits that we actually had and replaced. So, uh, timing chain that one can come off. Then I want the cam gear. That one can come off as well. So, I think that's everything that needs to come off. So we didn't actually need to take the timing cover off, really, did we? So we go part mount, then I can put the cam gear back on. So we've got that one, that's in better condition. And then we can put the timing chain on there. That one's in tip-top condition. Um, no, not camshaft. 
Cam Gear B, the other new one, that one was at 4%. So it's was a pretty good job that we've come along when we did and we've replaced this because, quite frankly, this car was about ready to fall apart because I understand that if timing goes out, it basically it, it screws with everything else in the car. Um, bad things will happen. You cannot allow the timing to kind of disintegrate at any point. It's, it's something that's very, very important that you... The water pump at 1%, also not good. That, I think, just kind of leads to the engine overheating. Um, but the actual um, thingy, a uh, belt tensioner, we needed... Yes, that was another one that we needed to do, so we've done that one on this side. Uh, but yeah, the timing, that's related to everything... Um, like, uh, when the, the pistons move up and down, and the, the fuel gets injected into the, the piston chamber, and stuff like that, and... Um, if that goes out, it can end up with bits being inside the chamber when uh, the piston goes up or something. I, th I think that's how it works. I'm, I'm not actually quite sure. My, my, like I've said before, my knowledge of engines is severely limited. Uh, I really don't know anything about them. But I think that is everything back on now. Let's just quickly check. Car status. Everything done. We can take that one off. Um, that's it. We also get a money bonus. That's why I took this particular job, because we get a money bonus. So total payout, 1,055. Money spent, 435. That's actually pretty good. So do we need to remove it from the... Um, do, we, do we need to actually remove it from the lift in order to finish the job, or can we just have the job finished exactly as it is? Let's just see, because if we can, if we can just finish order... Ha <laughs> ha! Job done! Okay, achievement unlock dirty hands, achievement unlock more money, achievement unlock cash only, bronze. I'm not quite sure what those achievements are and where you can sort of see a list of them. It would be pretty good. I'm guessing it's um, a Steam thing. So we've now got 1660 of 1829. I'm not sure where you get... Ooh, upgrade. Oh, no, we have available skill point zero, so we can't do anything there. Um, now, oh, yeah, the next thing I was going to do was we was going to go and take a look. Uh, we've got the car salon. Um, we know what the test track is. We've used that one. We can't yet get to the junkyard or the car auctions, but we've got the racetrack, we've got the abandoned airport, and we've got the car salon. So, what is the car salon? Is that somewhere we can go buy bits for the cars, or is it somewhere that you can um, test a car out? Car salon. Well, it looks like it's somewhere that you can go to kind of uh, check out different types of cars and uh, rims and things like that, is it, maybe? I don't actually know what I'm supposed to be doing here. You can see different colours scattered throughout the walls. And I can take a look at the engine. What can I do here? Bike. Ah, I see. So it's um, it's not a salon at all. It's, um, well, I, I guess it's a salon if, you, if that's what it is in the States. Um, but no, this isn't. This is what we would call a showroom in the UK. Um... So, bike check, car information, and collection price. Right, this one to buy is $97,418. I've got to be honest, I'm not quite sure why you would go and buy this car. Why would we go and buy new cars? I thought the whole idea of this game was to upgrade old cars and um, do it from there. Maybe we can sell a vehicle, we can bring it over and we can sell it, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, that is the car salon. No, I don't want to... Oh, actually, yeah. Is, do I need to return to garage? Can I go somewhere else? Let's have a look out here. Can I Can I get out? Uh, apparently, I can't get out. Okay, so we'll return to garage. And then the other place we wanted to look at was the, it was the abandoned airport, wasn't it? I think that was the one. Abandoned airstrip or abandoned airport, something like that. I'm guessing that is somewhere where we can go and test cars, just have a little bit of a burn around, something like that. Um, I might be wrong. Let's take a quick look. So we've seen the car salon. That is where you can buy a new car, basically. Abandoned airport. Which car do you want to take? Oh, I don't have a car, so I can't go and do that one. All right. Abandoned airport. We will deal with the abandoned airport another time. Right now, we need another order. Now, do we get... Now, that's a story order, so you get no bonus. But, if, I mean, if you click on these, you get normal order. Normal, 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 and normal. So... Replace timing, related parts, new engine and oil filter. This one here, cars filters need replacing, change engine oil and filter. So that's all the filters on the car. This one here is a brakes job. We've done brakes jobs loads. That's uh, repair all running gear faults. 
It doesn't say list provided. So we might have to do some analysis on that one. I'd rather just kind of get some quick jobs. If we could just sort of knock through a, a couple of uh, really quick jobs that would make life a little bit easier. All right, let's go for this one here. Uh, no, not that one. This one here, the cars builders need replacing. So take order. Um, this one should be relatively simple. It's just um, filters. Let's go to car status. Fuel filter, oil filter, I4, and air filter. And then this one is another oil filter and change the oil. So uh, we'll move this one quickly up onto the ramp. Uh, move car. Car lifter. Then we want air filter. Now, does it say what sort of air filter we need? It doesn't. It just says air filter. And then it says fuel filter and oil filter I4. So if we go to the tablet and we look into filters. Uh, it's in the main shop. And... Right, well, air filter is just air filter. So we go for air filter because it doesn't actually specify an air filter. Then we want an oil filter. So if we just go in engine... Yeah, that should do it. And we want O for oil filter, which is here somewhere. Uh, fuel. It wasn't. It was oil filter. Now, the oil filter was the I4 one, wasn't it? So it was that one. Take that one. Uh, I don't remember what else we had to get. I'm terrible at this. I'm absolutely terrible. So we got fuel filter, oil filter, and air filter. Right, so we need to get the fuel filter. And then here we got... Is that a second oil filter? Is that the same one? That's something that would be interesting to find out. So it was a fuel filter. We just need a fuel filter now. That is up here a little bit. There we go. It's that one right there. So uh, take him. Come out and pop the hood. And now we can get to work. Right, so uh, where are the filters? Oh, there's one. Accessible from under the car. Where's the other filters? There's a fuel filter here somewhere. And an air... Oh, the air filter's got to be on the top, hasn't it? Engine cover. Intake manifold. Uh, it under, oh, ah, air cover. So if it, it'll be under the air cover. It's got to be under this one. So let's take... The clip's off. There's one there. And one there. And then we come around to this side. And there's another clip there. And finally, there's one there. Now we can remove the air filter cover. And there's the air filter all clogged up and looking very grubby. So we can take that one out. The fuel filter. Now, where do you find a fuel filter on a car? It's got to be somewhere near fuel, I'm guessing. It's not a battery. I'm just doing that to move over to this side. Uh, turbocharger. What's that? round. Oh, that's a starter. Uh, oh, incidentally, funny story about a starter. My mum is not going to be pleased that I'm sharing this particular story, but I'm going to share it anyway. Um, we had a very old car when I was younger, and this particular car that we were using needed um, a little bit of assistance with the... Um, is that it for the fuel filter? Like you've got to do a lot to it, really. Um, this this particular car that we had needed a bit of assistance with the starter motor. You had to just give it a gentle tap every now and then you know, just to make sure that it worked properly. And so my dad at the time was a long-distance lorry driver. And so he was away in the lorry and the car wouldn't start. And so my mum asked him what it was that he had to do, uh, what it was that she had to do in order to get the car to start. And dad said over the phone... Um, you got to get a hammer and you got to gently tap the starter motor and then it should turn over and you should be able to start. So, mum went and got a hammer and she tapped the starter motor several times and nothing happened. So she tapped it a little bit more forcefully. Ooh, I did that wrong. Um, tapped it a little bit more forcefully and um, still nothing happened. And she did it a few times and the new car wouldn't start. I think eventually the car did start. Um, and so then, you know, everybody went on their merry. And then my dad came home a few days later and had a look at the car. Turns out that my mum hadn't been tapping the starter motor at all. What she'd done is she'd leaned in a little bit lower down and she had dented. Not just not just um, hit the thing. She had absolutely dented halfway round the oil filter underneath, which is absolutely fantastic. So yes, we had an oil filter covered in dents where she'd been absolutely leathering it with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, m making sure that everything, you know, so that in order to get the starter motor to work. And she couldn't understand why the starter motor wouldn't start. So, yeah, there's a little story there. My mum absolutely beat to a fine pulp the poor oil filter when she was supposed to be gently, gently tapping the starter motor in order to get it to start because it was sticking at the time. Um, 
so yes that's my little little story from that one um incidentally at the time I, I i i should just point out that i probably would have done the same because i mean i can i can now tell the difference between an oil filter and a starter motor but only just right i, I mean it's, it's it's a pretty close call so we're gonna drain all the old oil out of the bottom there let that one run out and then we can uh return that one place equipment back there we go all right and we come back over here we've already changed the oil filter so now i can load that one down i think i should have done it the other way around i think Technically, you are supposed to do it the other way around, but anyway, we didn't. We did it this way around. So now we go to the engine, and no, what we do is we just go to the oil fill plug like that, and we plug in a huge amount. Now, I have been told by people watching this series that I've actually been doing the oil wrong. What I should do is I should, uh, because when you start the engine up, um, right at the moment the oil's about halfway. We should fill it absolutely to the max point. Now, I thought that you were supposed to like have it a bit below the max point. But, no, apparently what we should do is we should fit it right up to the max point because then you turn the engine on and you turn it over for a little bit. And that actually allows... Oh, more than enough is too much. Okay, I overfilled there. Definitely overfilled. So let's just take a look and... We're on max level. So we're at max level, so I completely filled that one up. But apparently that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to fill it to max level because when you start the car up, it, it turns over a little bit and then it... Um, Everything is replaced. Right, air. Oh, we haven't put the new air filter back in. So let's just do that one a minute. And I want to go to part mount. And do that. There we go. Come back over here. I want to put the air cover on. Yes. You're in tip top condition. Replace with. Yeah, we, we can do all of those. This does take a few. Sometimes it takes a little while. Sort of. You get little fiddly bits, don't you? Just like these clips. Is one of those little fiddly bits. Slightly annoying, but not enough to really annoy you. You're not. You, does that make any sense? Um, right. So now we're gonna go cast data. So those two are all done, and we go to this one. That's done as well. So it was just the one oil filter. We didn't actually need to worry about the other one. Um, does it say? So we're on at the moment one six eight four. Is that sort of something that we're accumulating as we go through? Oh no, no. There's another one. So. Uh, 1790, we need one more quick job and we will actually be on level 6 and we can go to the junkyard. Right, what's a quick job on here? Brakes are a quick job. Poor brake performance list provided. This one has replaced timing parts and new engine oil and filter. Actually, I think that one we could probably do quicker than we could do any of the others. Let's go for that one. So we'll take that order there. We are knocking these orders out of the shop today. This is absolutely brilliant. So that's the second one that we've done and we are straight back into yet another one. So car status... Timing belt, belt tensioner, water pump I4, and then an oil filter I4, and then change the oil. Right, I can do this. I can do this. I can definitely do this. So move car over to car lift A. That one will go through, and then we can come over to here, and we go quickly to tablet. Let's see if I can remember this. Um, I can't remember. Water pump. There was definitely a water pump. Uh, we needed... It was just a standard water pump. There wasn't anything in particular special about it, and then there was an oil filter I4, so it was uh, I4, was it I4B. Water pump I4. I don't remember now. I think it was water pump I4. I'm hoping so, because I'm spending $60 on the wrong one if it's not. Uh, let's just check that again, shall we, just in case. Uh, water pump I4, I got that right. Right, belt tensioner and timing belt. So those are just standard, and then the I4 oil filter. Right. Belt tensioner and timing belt. Timing belt is the first one. That's going to be that one there. And then we want a belt tensioner. That's going to be right at the top. Up here, uh, belt tensioner. That's a really easy one to get, that one there. And then we want the last one's the oil filter. And then it's the oil filter is actually the I4. It's that one again, the blue one. That should be everything that we need. We don't need anything else. Okay, and we come over here. Now, what I'm going to do is put it on the lifter. And I'm actually going to do the oil first, I think. So we'll lift that one up a bit higher. And as soon as it's up out the way... We'll put this one under, because we'll do it the right way this time. Uh, put it underneath the lifter, and then you go to the oil and use equipment. Drains the oil out. As soon as you've drained the oil out, then you do the oil filter, don't you? So, uh, no, move equipment. We want to move it uh, back. Then we come underneath, and we take a look, and where is that oil filter? Nope, that's suspension. There's the oil filter. Click on that one there. I want to remove that one. And then I want to go straight to part mount. And I want to put the new oil filter back on. There we go. Right. That's that bit done. Now I need to... The rest of it is from looking in the top. So then we do the other work on the engine. And then finally we will top up the oil when we're finished. So 
We pop into here. Now we've got a timing belt and a belt tensioner and a water pump to do. So we need to remove that one. Then we need to remove the serpentine. Oh no, so we've got to remove the serpentine belt A and then belt B. Let's zoom in a little bit, shall we? Uh, we want the water pump as well. That one's got to come off. Uh, it's the actual timing belt that we've got to remove, which means that we've got to take these two off. The crankshaft pulley down here. And then the idler roller. That one's got to come off. Now we should be able to remove the timing belt cover, which is these four screws up here. Uh, bolts, I should say. I keep saying screws, and they are actually bolts. Um, and then the timing belt. So that one can come off. Now we can go back into part mount, and we can put the timing belt back on. Now, obviously, when you're putting a timing belt back on, there is a lot more to it. You've actually got to get the timing just right. You can't just whip a belt off, put a new one on. There's special tools and stuff you've got to use in order to get the timing just right. But it's probably a good job that they're not relying on someone like me to get that timing just right. Because, yeah, I would not have a hope. It just wouldn't happen, would it? Uh, let's be honest, I barely know anything on the engine in the first place, so leaving me in charge of um, doing something like that, I think, would just be a really, really bad idea. So it's pro probably for the best that that's not going to happen. Right, so we've got a belt tensioner there, that one's got to go on. And then we've got a serpentine belt A there, that one can go on. And is that everything? Is that everything gone back? I think that is everything gone back on there. All we need to do now is change... Is do the oil so if I go over here and I go to part unmount we remove the oil filter and uh, oil fill plug I should say now don't overload it all right I think that will probably be right I'm, I'm guessing here I, I'm purely guessing so let me um, move back a bit there we go and I can check the oil dipstick and oh not even close okay let's go back to the top um, we don't want to over... I, I don't want oil spilling out over the top of the engine. There. I think that's it. I really, I really don't want oil spilling out over the top of the engine. Oh, look at that. I don't think we could ask for better. Now, I realise, like we said, you should fill it to max and then you start the engine. And that should be how it, it works properly. But we're not going to worry about that. Now, I don't think that we will be sending the cars off sitting on top of there with the hood open and everything. Um, from now on, I think what we'll do is we will actually lower them down properly like we're supposed to, but we can go car status, they're all done. New engine, that's all done as well, so finish the order, and yes! Level 6, that should now have unlocked the auctions and everything else. Let's just take a look in the toolbox first. We've got a point, so we can use it for instantly examine three parts when see first seeing a car. Order, barn, junkyard, auction. Right. That might actually be a pretty good idea. Tire tread tester. Uh, successful repair chance raised to 55%. Oh, no, I think this one actually, because unlock upgrade. Because we're doing, obviously we're, we've now unlocked the auctions and everything else. We've got $11,866. So let's go and take a look. We can go to the car auction. No, we can't. What? No, I thought we could get to the junkyard now. Oh, barn, what's that? We can we can do a barn find. Okay, uh, how do you move around on the map? Can you move around? No, you can't. So we've got the barn up here. So a uh, barnyard, a uh, barn find first, car auctions, junkyard, apparently they come later. So we will go first to the barn and we see what we can find in the barn. And apparently this is, well, fr from what I can gather, um, it, this is where you like you get a really old car and you're supposed to do it up yourself and then you can... Um, like you make millions absolute millions so this is our barn find not much of a barn is it i guess it's a bit of a barn it sounds very industrial outside very industrial right what have we got oh so you, junk you can hold to search looking through all of, that's brilliant okay junk there's a bale of straw there um right let's search through the junk what have we got found items Oh, we we'll just take everything. Luxor, Bowen, front left door. Chieftain, TBX, rear window. Right, and what's this? Buy car, check car information. $18,233 if we go and buy that. And we've no idea what kind of condition. What, so what car is this? I've no idea. Uh, factory color, engine... 
Does anybody know what this car is? I don't, I've got no clue what I'm looking at here. Oh, there it says uh, Sakura Moon. Is that a good thing? Is, is this a good car or not? I've, I don't actually know. Um, but I'm thinking that we take all of this stuff and then we just sell it. I'm, I'm sure we can make a pile of money doing this. How often can you come back and like get other stuff from the barn? From your barn finds? We've got there's loads of stuff here, isn't there? We're going to make a fortune out of this. We could just We could just sell this stuff. Make an absolute fortune. We got um, there's lights and all kinds of bits and pieces. Uh, nothing there, right? So that's that car. We don't have the eighteen thousand necessary to buy that car, but there's another car over here. Right, it's more junk. Turbo i3. I mean, a lot of these are in poor condition, but I think that we've now got options where we can actually, um, yeah, cats. Katako Katsumoto front right door window, Delray Imperator rear window. I mean, do we need to keep these things, or can we just sell them for a big pile of money? I'm kind of hoping that we can sell them. Some of them I think that we could repair on our repair table. You've got like a chance that you can um, repair and do things up, which I'm guessing is a good thing. But let's grab that lot. Look at all these collected items. We've got masses of it. All right, hopefully. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we're not even supposed to be picking this up. Maybe we're going to be done for theft in a little while. Um, but I'm getting really excited about this. This is kind of like... Um, I like RPG games. I love fantasy RPG games, roleplay games, and where you spend absolutely ages going through dungeons and picking up all kinds of... Uh, all kinds of... Caster Earthquake Rex Hood. What's a Caster Earthquake Rex? No idea. Um... Uh, another pile of junk back there. There's a lot of hoods and bonnets and stuff. Considering how the kind of thing is laid out, it doesn't look like a lot of um, hood, uh, a lot of hoods and bonnets and stuff like that. Uh, what else have we got? I think it's just this car. We can open it up. Steering wheel. Um, I'm wondering if I can like I can't remove bits. So buy car. What's this one? This is a Catagirl Katsumoto 9297. Well, we did pick up some bits like that. Global parts condition 35%, global body 75 So there's work that we're going to need to do on this. But we can buy this one. So we can at least afford to buy it. So let's buy this one for 9297 Yes. Where do you want to place a bought car? Let's go to the garage with it. Okay. We, we, we've made our very first purchase. And I've got all of these collected items. So now I can return to the garage. Oh, hang on. Uh, <laughs> Part uh, price to pay. I got two thousand five hundred. Price. Uh, so you can't just. <laughs> I thought you. I thought we were just going to pick these all up and we we're going to make a fortune. Right. So we. It's something Katsumoto that we got, isn't it? So that's what we. We anything is Katsumoto we want, and the rest we want to get rid of. I think. Tempest Magnum left body window A. Catagirl Katsumoto right door window. That's that's at thirty percent. That's that's not in particularly good. What's this one? Ninety eight. Bolt Hellcat front window. Ninety seven dollars. If I buy that for ninety seven dollars, would I then be able to walk away with it? Uh, would I be able to make a profit out of it if I sold it back at the garage? Okay, let's. Um, I think we'll just quit without buying anything. I got that wrong. All of those bits lying around, and I thought we could just take them with us, but apparently you've got to pay for them. It's it's like anything else in life. If you want it, you got to buy it. And, yeah, bitterly disappointing to find out that you can't actually do that. But we have our own car, and we can store it somewhere, I'm sure. And then we've got to kind of fit it up a bit, haven't we? So let me just have a drink, and then we can take a look at our new car. Right. There is our new car. This is a car that we actually own ourselves. So let's just take a look at the car status. At the moment, we've got question marks next to every single part of it. Oh, hang on. There are some things here. These all seem to be in reasonably good condition. I guess you can just kind of look at them when you're, um, you're doing them. So serpentine belt A and all this other stuff. We don't know anything about it. So we need to kind of, well, we need to find out. So at the moment, oh, tuning value 0%. I don't really know anything else about what we're supposed to do car value at the moment eight thousand six hundred. Oh, so you could just sell the car straight as it is now we paid like nine thousand some odd for it so yeah that's not a very profitable situation to be in now we we uh oh we need an, a new light right there 
the left table. So we need a right headlight, and I guess maybe we could like buff out some of the, the stuff on the doors or maybe things like that. I'm not quite sure. Let's start off by uh, not overview. Move the car. We'll take the car to the test path parking. Ah, I see. Store your cars in parking area so they'll not take garage place when not needed. Right, test path. We're going to run this one on the test path and we will see what we can do. We'll see, see what we can find out about the, ve the vehicle and see what's wrong with it. Let's come up through here. So I'm thinking that we would want to... Right, uh, we want to go test path. Yes. Uh... Oh, it started! Okay. So we do at least have a vehicle that runs, even if it doesn't run very well. It took a long time to start up then, didn't it? Uh, oh, no, hang on. We're supposed to hold the brake. Press and hold the brake. There we go. Place the rear wheels on. Right, front brakes there at 30-odd percent, so that's not very good. And then the rear brakes. Oh, they're even worse. They're really bad. Now we need to go on to the front suspension. There we go, onto that one, and we're going to test that one. So, yeah, we've the, the car took a long time to start, and <laughs> everything's in port. I don't know what condition we want to do everything to when we come to sell the car. Should we say, like, a minimum of everything at 80%? If it's below 80%, we replace and get new? Or are we going to go for a bit lower than that? Maybe 75? I mean... <laughs> uh... I think we need to replace, uh, I mean, should we say 50%? If we said 50%, if we said everything at 50% was acceptable, uh, examine 61 parts and it did atrociously. Right, let's just go back onto here and we go to car status. Right, there's a lot of stuff here that we don't know anything about. So piston rings, um, front springs, drive shafts. A lot of this stuff we can actually test at the track now, can't we? So we, we've some of this stuff we've tested here. Do is there extra stuff that we test at the track? Catalytic converter, a crankshaft, exhaust manifolds. Oh, this this is um. Right, I'm sure. Right, front drive axle, front drive shaft. Isn't that stuff that gets tested at the track? Front drive axle C. Fr okay, we're going to go to the track and we're going to test this at the track and see what else it will do. We know that it doesn't start very easily. So we want to go... No, I don't want to do that. I want to go to main gate and then I want to go uh, your garage test track. That's what I want to go to. Yes. There is serpentine belt A missing from the car. Okay. So we don't want to do anything with it at the moment. We at least want to get the uh, serpentine belt A. Does that mean that like the timing is completely out? Is that, is that part of it? Right. Move car to another location in garage. Just stick it on the lifter. Um, now, if the serpentine belt A is missing, I'm assuming that is a really, really bad thing. Those wheels look terrible. Uh, let's lift the hood, and first of all, let's put it on to the lifter. There we go. Now, it says that the serpentine belt A is missing, so I'm guessing that's why it didn't want to start when we tried starting it just now. Uh, serpentine belt I4. That is me actually run out of time. I'm curious now what we're supposed to do. Um, I don't have another serpentine belt. I don't even know what serpentine belt I'm supposed to get for this one. Let's go car status. Serpentine belt is missing. Serpentine belt A. Alternator, oil filter, throttle. Is that stuff that's missing? Exhaust manifold cover. Let's go here. Where would that belt go? Is that one, does that one go up across there? No, it doesn't go across there, does it? Where would I even find such a belt? Uh, part mount. Oh, there's the alternator. That would be why the car didn't start. you got that one missing. Uh, we've got that one up there. The throttle, the I-4 throttle is missing. We've got an oil filter missing down there. So where's the timing belt that's missing as well? There is, it, it said serpentine belt A, didn't it? Or was it uh, serpentine belt B? It was a it was a belt somewhere. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so we need to buy. Well, let's let's just get these things that we don't actually have. So we want exhaust manifold cover. We want an alternator. Uh, ooh, no, I want to come out of. Oh, I want to go to here now. If I go here, we want an alternator and an exhaust manifold cover. Those things should be fairly simple. 
depends how much they cost though because obviously this is something that we're going to have to like accumulate the money for as we go through so that we can like build it up and then we can sell it so that was the alternator we want the exhaust manifold cover that was another bit that we need to do exhaust manifold so what about the oh there it is that one right there there and uh, there was an oil filter wasn't there that was an i4 oil filter I'm getting good at this. I'm, I'm getting good at remembering the different things on it, at least, I think. This is where he finds out that he's actually put, got the wrong one. Uh, we part mount. So, there's that one and that one. And this up here was the throttle. I4 throttle. Go on. Go on. You can do this. And I'm, I'm running out. Of, I've run out of time. I really need to wrap this up now, don't I? So, uh, throttle. I've, I've gone too far. Timing. Timing. Uh, timing covers. It would help if I could actually spell. There we go. Throttle. It's that one there, isn't it? Yeah, throttle I4. I think there's anything else. Nope, it's definitely not. So it's that one. And then there was a serpentine belt. Now, where does the serpentine belt actually go? So in order to get that, we so we want to take the crankshaft pulley off. Nope. Serpentine belt. Is that serpentine belt in really bad condition, which is why it's not working? Let's go to part mount. Serpentine belt. That's at 24%. Uh, exhaust manifold cover. We'll put that new one on there. And put that on. And then we've got the alternator. The brand new alternator. That one can go on. So we can at least start the car up. And, oh, no, there. We've got the throttle, the I4 throttle. That one can go on. Is that got any? That's not got any bolts or anything. That just goes on as it is. And then we want the oil filter. That's got to be accessed, accessed from underneath. So I'm assuming it doesn't have any oil in it either. Oop, did that wrong. Uh, right. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's just lift it up, and we will put the oil filter on, and then we'll put some oil in, and then that's going to be it. We're not going to take this to the track today. We don't have time. So this is our new car, a brand new car. It's absolutely amazing. It's a wonderful car, as you can see. It's, uh, yeah, we're, we're really proud to own this vehicle. Um, it's nothing but an absolute rust tip, is it? It's just, it's just a bucket, a rust bucket. That is all we've got. So let's just go and move the equipment underneath there, just in case that it's not got anything in it. I, I suspect that there's no oil in it anyway. Yeah, it's empty. Right, um, so let's uh, move the equipment back to where it belongs and then lower this one down. Oop, there. It would help if we press the right button. Um, bring that one over here and then engine and oil fill. Right, now we load up some oil. I don't know how much to put in here, really. Let's be generous. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oop. Okay, we'll stop there. It's giving us an indication that that might be enough oil in there. I reckon the oil's probably draining out the bottom by now. Okay, that's fine. We're going to be doing a lot of work on this car. We could end up having to do it again. So it's there ready. Now, there was a serpentine belt as well, wasn't there? Let's just go car status. Uh, serpentine belt A. I don't even know where that one is. Oh, and right headlight. Well, the right headlight doesn't matter. Um... We're going to have to do the Serpentine Belt A. That's going to be the next thing that we do. We've still got enough money to at least do that bit. So in the comment section, I would like to hear what percentage you think I should um, make the parts up to. So uh, you go to here to the car status. Global parts condition. Now, body condition at 75%. So I reckon that probably 75% for this car... Um, we'll leave it at that so do you think we should go for parts condition as 75 percent so everything's got to be 75 or better and if it's under 75 we replace it um or do you think we should go lower than that do you think we should just go for like 60 percent and just kind of acceptable so that we can get the car sorted and then out the door i'd like to hear your opinions on that one um and then we can sort of work on that again next week if you enjoyed this episode then please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.